We got a delay here too. No, we don't. What's going on? All right, let's get into the news here. Uh, I've not seen. Listen, I haven't seen the match, so I'm not going to talk about it. I'll, I'll review it tonight with Dave and tomorrow with Vinny. But uh, God bless the guy, great worker. I was I was actually very excited when he went to NXT. But then you know they do what they do. Career geek Dolph Ziggler defeated former champ Braun Breaker and Tommaso Ciampa in a three-way to win the NXT Championship on last night's Roadblock episode of NXT 2.0. As Ciampa set Breaker up for a running knee, Ziggler's Dirty Dogs teammate Robert Roode pulled Breaker out of Ciampa's path and out of the ring. Ziggler capitalized by hitting a super kick to Ciampa, then pinning him to win the title. The Roadblock result would seem to set up a Ziggler versus Breaker title match for Stand and Deliver on WrestleMania weekend, a main event over WrestleMania weekend. Hmm, interesting. Well, that announcement has not been made yet. <laughs> Ziggler, career job guy, has held the NXT title, World Heavyweight title, United States title, Intercontinental title, World Tag Team title, Raw Tag Team title, and the SmackDown Tag Team title. You know, it's funny, we were uh, talking about this on Monday, and I was just I was just flabbergasted that they they beat Ziggler last Wednesday at NXT because they wanted to find a way to get Chomp into the match. And then they do the rematch on Raw and they pinned Ziggler again. And of course, you know, Dave goes, Well, he's probably gonna win the title. And I was like, Yeah, he probably is, but uh why did we pin him again? And then, you know, the explanation, because we have to have an explanation for every stupid thing that they do. The explanation was, well, you know, uh, Braun Breaker pinned him. And so when Ziggler wins the title, Braun Breaker can, can be his challenger. <laughs> it's like, Braun Breaker was champion, right? So the match has happened, and now we know the finish, which was the champion lost without being beaten. So we need another reason that Braun Breaker should get a championship match. Why in God's name could they have not pinned Robert Roode and then Ziggler wins the title by not pinning Breaker and you don't need a damn excuse for Braun Breaker getting a rematch. But instead, oh, well, he pinned him in a tag match before Ziggler won the title. Yeah, this guy's his whole story is that he never wins. Well, now he's the NXT champion. What a prestigious championship this is. Ah, who cares? Seriously, who cares? That's Who cares? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They decided to go in this direction to get to their story of Braun Breaker standing tall at WrestleMania. Frankly, at this point, I'd have him lose. (laughs) I'd have him lose because I want to see him on Raw the next night after WrestleMania in the mix with somebody. I would rather see him there than Gable Stevenson. Gable Stevenson should be in NXT. He absolutely should be in NXT. If the plan is to debut him on the main roster, I don't know if you're doing him any good. He'll be able to learn on the fly. There'll be a lot of people to work with. He's an athletic wonder. He's a personable guy. I don't think, how can you debut on national TV, be ready for prime time, whatever private training they're giving him, great. But I would put him in NXT, and I have Braun Breaker up on the main roster. The whole... The whole story could have been told a lot better, and it should also be hammered home again when you got a guy like Braun Breaker, because we talked about this with Adam Cole in in a way and with Adam Page, where Adam Page is still establishing himself as a champion. you got these other big stars in this promotion, and Page is, you know, AEW fans, it's not like they don't, you know, aren't invested in him, but he's not at that level. Okay, he's not at the upper echelon level. You're trying to get him there. So that's why the the whole thing with Cole as an opponent, same thing trying to build him up, the whole deal with Orange Cassidy, the whole story could have been told in a better way where at the end everybody benefited from this a whole lot more. Dolph Ziggler talking about how big of a loser he is. You know, what are we supposed to be impressed about? His resilience? The fact that he's had longevity? Like, I lose 19 out of 20 matches, but that 20th one, I'm there. He told us. We're supposed to be impressed because he steals the show. He steals the show, and it's like, okay, but the story at the end of the day is Braun Breaker. (laughs) 
and Prom Breaker. I just, the whole damn thing could have been told differently. And it's just one of those small things that, as a wrestling fan, just annoys me because it didn't have to be done this way. And it could have been more impactful for everybody. Ciampa was, of course, always the guy on the outside of this. But why Dolph Ziggler had to look so weak going into this thing, and then you have a weak guy go ahead and defeat the un the unbreakable Braun Breaker. It just, it just, just to go ahead and tell the story where you're crowning him at the end, again, it just shows you that none of this means a damn thing. It really doesn't. It's all for the highlight package later on in his career where they can show him holding up that belt in front of all those people on WrestleMania weekend. Like, it's all just a means to an end. It's all content to fill their video package later on when he talks about his career and how tough it was down in NXT and all that other nonsense. Nonsense. It just, I don't know. The story could have been told a lot better. Bottom line. Favorite quote from The Simpsons. Can you do an impression? Sure. Okay. So uh, Bart was doing some road cleanup and he said, Hey, Krusty, what are you doing here? And Krusty says, uh, It's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. <laughs> that was a very good impression, Craig. Thank you. Uh, it's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.